Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So the last two I've done have been, or the last three I've done, have been kind of collection reviews of some Dragon Ball Z and Beyblades. And since I am moving all these figures around, I thought I would recap all the Inuyasha figures that we unbox on the channel. I do have links for each one of these um, in the description below. So if you want to see the individual unboxing of any one of these videos, um, you can just check the description for all the link. It'll take you straight to it. But I thought I would start off with the main character, Inuyasha. So we opened these almost maybe a year ago. And I start off with Inuyasha being the main character. Just want to kind of give a quick recap of the figure here. Uh, great detail on these. Not a ton of articulation. This is definitely more of a figure for display um, than it is for any type of um, what you like to play with the action figures um, or anything like that. It's definitely more of put it on your shelf and just kind of admire the character and the detail. And so that's what I've done with this one. So Inuyasha's face, just to go ahead and start, looks phenomenal. The eyes are great. The hair is perfect. The dog ears, you can even see his eyebrows there under his bangs. The red is just spot on. You got all the details of his necklace, the little string going across his chest, the kind of the stitching details there on his sleeves. Um, this plastic here is pretty thick, but it's hollow, so the figure is not super heavy. We've got the Tetsaiga here in the sheath. I know some people prefer not to you know, pose it with having the Tetsaiga in here and having it in his hand, um, but for me, I just like the way it looks. And I think when I unboxed the figure, I couldn't even pull the sword out of the sheath. I didn't want to break it. I know the handle can be a little bit um, fragile, so I just thought, let me put it in there and let me just put it out for display and enjoy it as it is. You can see the Tetsaiga here. Um, not really super hard plastic. The handle is very soft, almost not, I don't want to say rubbery, um, but it is pretty flexible. And then the blade here too also does bend. So if you get this, definitely be careful with it. You can see his nails. The detail on these is just phenomenal. And I pretty much just display mine like this, where he's kind of got the sword. He's got it up like this. He's got his hand up like he's ready for battle. And then the back of the figure, great detail in the hair. Looks like it's moving in the wind or kind of moving as he's getting ready to fight. Detailed stitching here in the back. And of course, barefoot. This one has a hole on the bottom of the foot, actually on the bottom of both feet. And I think all these figures do, but the stand didn't come with the Kagome and the Inuyasha in series one. It did come with Sashomaru, um, the convention version that I have, which is kind of a series two, uh, but it did come with Moroku and Songo. I'm not sure about Kiku. I still have not been able to get that figure online, but hopefully um, series two did come with the stands because they make a huge difference, especially with the figure like this. So here's the Kagome figure. This was the second one that we did, I think on the channel. And this is a great figure. Her arm is set up so you can move the elbow, kind of rotate it all the way around. I think you can also turn her, yeah, you can also turn her wrist so she can hold the bow. I can have her set up the way they had her on the back of the box. And then here we can put the arrow in her hand. It's gonna be hard for me to show you in the air because the arrow will fall out, but pretty much the arrow rests in her hand like this. And if you put this piece in her fingers, she can hold the bow. And the arrow, this is a great figure in terms of detail. They did a great job with her face. Looks just like a gome in the anime and the manga. Great color green here around the collar with the little white outline. The red ribbon is perfect. You can see the detailing there in the skirt. They've got the shoes, the socks, everything spot on. And then her hair here in the back, you can see the lines. Detail is great all around. And this is one where having a stand would definitely help. You can't really move her legs. And so when you set her down, she has a tendency to kind of lean forward. And while she will stand for a little bit, if you nudge the desk or table she's on, um, she will fall forward pretty easy. So if you can get a stand for this one or borrow one for another figure that you think doesn't need it, I would definitely do that. So we'll set her off to the side, leaving the Asha standing. And then the next one that we'll do will be, let's jump to my favorite one. And that is the Sashomaru figure. Now this was the convention exclusive one where he has his mouth open. Um, I love it, he looks angry, he looks ready to fight. You can see his fangs. You can see all the detail there in his face. That crescent on his forehead. Perfect color on the eyes. That little bit of yellow with the black. You've got the little bit of colored outline. You've got the, the stripes on his face. Perfect detailing here on the robe, on the armor. We've got the ten sake, and that because of his hair, can't push this back anymore, so it does stick out a little more than I would like it to, but it's not the end of the world. You know, I don't want to mess the figure up. I don't want to 
try to force the sword in there and, and you know, I don't want to break it or anything like that. So this is completely fine for me. Now, not a huge deal. It's so obviously missing the left arm. Here we've got his right hand sticking out. We've got Tokajin in this hand. And then this handle here um, snaps off from the top of the sword. Actually, I'm sorry, no, it doesn't. This yellow piece here at the bottom, you can pull this out and then you slide the handle through his hand and you put the yellow piece back in. If you get the figure, it's gonna be a little bit tricky at first. Now, be careful with it, it can break easy. Uh, but if you're persistent, you will get this yellow piece out and then you slide the handle into his hand and put the yellow piece in. I originally read that you take the handle off to put the sword in his hand, and that threw me off when I did the unboxing, uh, but on this one, it is the yellow piece that comes out, and you just slide the sword in. So, great detail here. It goes around his waist, you can see the armor, perfectly drawn, this is exactly like it is in the show. And even on his boots, you can see the detail and some of the straps. Let me see, guys, try and get that to, there we go. Can see even you can even see the straps there in his boots and then in the back just perfect detail with his hair even more detail in the robe and he comes with a foot stand so it's easy just to pop him up and display him and if you're a fan of Sushomaru I highly recommend getting this um, these are running for a ton of money on eBay you probably can't find them under $200 I got a pretty good deal on it, but again, that was almost a year ago, um, so I'm not sure where it is now, but I have seen some people selling the standard series too with the mouth closed for about 50, 60 bucks if you think that's worth it. I know it's a lot of money for a figure, but if you're a huge fan and you've saved up, um, I would recommend this figure probably more so than any other one in the series. If you're a fan of Sashomaru, you just can't beat the detail. And even if you're not a fan of Inuyasha, I think you can look at this figure and just appreciate the detail uh, and the amount of work that went into it. And then this piece here is furry, and every now and then maybe a little bit of dust gets into it, so just kind of dust it out with a little duster. No big deal. So we'll set him down. And then he did also come with this little jockin. Um, that was one of the things with the convention exclusive. He got a little tiny jockin with the staff of two heads, which they did a tremendous job on. So it's always nice just to pop jockin out by Sashomer. It would have been cool if it came with a rin, but that's just asking for too much, I think, at this point. We got Moroku next, and Moroku does come with the staff. It's gonna be hard for me to keep it in his hand um, while I'm doing the, actually, no, it's not. I lied, okay, perfect. So there's the staff in Moroku's hand. You can see his face, great detail, great detail in the hair. He's got all of his ear piercings. You can see all the perfect creases in his robe. Everything looks good, the color is spot on. He's got a stand here. You can see his shoes. You can even see this little bit underneath the robe. And then down here, it's all just closed off plastic. So you can put the stand on either foot, whatever works for you and how you display it. And then here we have the wind tunnel. He did come with several other hand options, but for me, having the wind tunnel uh, is definitely priority. And then with the staff, I can just kind of rest it between his fingers when he's on the shelf, and then it will stay in his hand with no issue at all. So great figure. And the Morocco one tends to be a lot cheaper um, than the others. So if you're a Moroku fan, you probably don't have to pay as much to have him. And the one I got had the special detail in the packaging where it looked like he was pulling the package into the wind tunnel. I'm not really sure if it costs more to buy that one, um, but it was a neat little touch if you don't plan on taking the figure out of the package. And then last, but certainly not least, uh, we have what I think is maybe the second best figure in this set, and that is Sango. So the detail in this is just tremendous and did a great job with her face. Her eyes, got the giant boomerang here, which will set off to the side just so it won't fall out of her hand. But the color on her armor is absolutely perfect. <clears throat> Even this little red piece around her waist. We've got her sword in here. The sword does come out. Doesn't seem like it's nearly as fragile as the Tenseiga or the Tetsaiga on the Inuyasha. So maybe the quality or durability went up there. Uh, but you can even see the details here, how this piece goes around her hand and her middle finger and then connects here. We can see the color there on their boots, on these little kind of shin guards, if you want to call them that. But the armor is absolutely perfect. All the detailing up here is perfect. And then you can see how her hair kind of swoops around her shoulder. Just great job with the detailing, even on the back. I mean, just an absolutely incredible figure. I was so excited to get this one. I think this was the last one that I got. I've been looking for an Araku 
Kagura, Koga, and Kikyo, but you just cannot find them for um, for a good price. But I am always looking, and I would like to do another Inuyasha video um, sometime soon for you all. But Sango is a perfect one to display. She does not fall over easy at all. She's got a stand, which you can put in either, uh, either foot. I went with her right. And then we just pop this right there in her hand. It got this perfect groove. And so this will just rest right behind her. And a great looking figure. And I highly recommend it for any Inuyasha fan. And just like the Sashomaru, even if you're not a fan of Inuyasha and you don't know who Sango is, you'll see the figure and you'll really appreciate the detail. Um, the detail in it. And then last but not least, we have the little Kilala that came along with her, which was such a nice touch. I wish they would have included Shippo with the Kagome figure. That way we have the gang all together. Um, I don't think there is an official Shippo figure in any of these sets. If anybody knows of one, um, please let me know. But here's a little Kilala, and she's a perfect little thing to put right next to Sanko. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I'll have more Ninja Turtle videos coming up soon. Uh, more Dragon Ball Z, hopefully more Inuyasha. Um, I hope you've enjoyed these collections, and I'll see you next time.